Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Vu, and today I'm going to show you two tricks you can use to auto tune your vocals. So today we'll be working with my beautiful voice, singing this random string of words, and then I'll show you guys two ways you can process your auto tune. I just okay. want to eat you like a fruity loop. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. So that's the beautiful groundbreaking vocal we're working with. Let me show you the first way we auto tune that. So, the first way, we're going to use a plugin called Newtone. The way you go about accessing Newtone is you go to your mixer, open that up, go to one of your slots, left click, and Newtone. Uh, we take Newtone, take our vocal. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. Drag that in. Pull it over, and now we have a vocal in here. So we hit play. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. Like, okay. Uh, so now, in order to do the auto tune, you got three knobs up here. Center um, <clears throat> locks it to the nearest note. Variation um, removes all the uh, pitch vibrato, bounce between notes, everything like that. And transient removes the transitions between notes. So if you did the extreme of all these, this is what you sound like. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. So a little bit more auto tune, uh, maybe a little bit too ro robotic, so you can. Adjust the variation, maybe to the center a little bit, give it a little more natural, and you get a better set. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. And yeah, locks out your pitch. So, that's the first way you could auto-tune. Second way is using a plugin called Pitcher, and do the exact same thing. So, go ahead, left-click on Pitcher. This one is a little bit more comprehensive in terms of setup. So, once we have Pitcher set up here, uh, let's link our vocal here. So we go here, link the vocal, pictures in it. Cool. Now we go in and create a MIDI out clip. Uh, this this is just a, a clip we can put in MIDI information, uh, but it won't make any sound. It'll instead control everything here. And this one's for me. This is actually what I use a lot more for harmonizing everything because at least in new tones a little bit. It takes a little bit too much more. It takes a little bit extra time. Uh, may not be quite as good. So let's go MIDI out. Let's do like a C scale okay and that will be our melody kick-ass melody drag that in here drag our vocal in here click on our pattern click our pattern here drag it in so what's going to happen is wherever you see a note this will lock it to that frequency there and i'll go up and down first I have to do a couple more things on the picture end and then we're good to go so first uh, midi out we'll have to set it to port one uh, that way we're telling it hey Go into the port one, and then we'll go into picture, uh, set format, uh, MIDI. You're gonna see this little. <laughs> it took me a bit forever to find this, but down at the bottom left, you see a MIDI import number. Go to one because that's what we set it to. Octaves harmonize, and now when we hit play. You can hear them both play at the same time. I just wanna eat you like a fruity loop. And that's the beautiful this a picture. And the best part is. You can go down to your MIDI out thing. You can put in multiple notes, and it'll harmonize it. I just want to eat you like a fruity loop. So there you have it. Those are two different ways you could auto-tune, harmonize your vocals, give it a cool maybe T-Pain effect, or maybe just go for like a um, Imogen Heap sort of style, what have you. Hope this guys helps you guys. Be looking for other cool tips and tricks. Got a little one-page free EDM quick start guide. You can find down below with a bunch of other tools. I wish I had starting out, uh, so if you're looking for other tricks outside of Autotune, definitely go down there, check that out. With that, hope this little trick helps out you guys. With this, go out and make some kick-ass music, or at least some kick-ass T-Pain vocals.